Today I'm going to show you how you can update the firmware and we're going to update the firmware on my Boss RC500. Hey guys, what's going on? It's JP here. Welcome to the channel. If you've never been here before and you want to learn all about music tech and looping, then start now by clicking the subscribe button, hit that bell and you won't miss anything. From time to time, a bug fix or maybe a new feature comes out for a pedal and it's time to update it. And this is in the shape of firmware. Also today, we're gonna to have a look at Boss Tone Studio RC. This is the Boss Tone Studio to manage your loops from the looper to the computer and from the computer to the looper. This is a really great way to offload your loops to a computer for maybe working with a digital audio workstation or just simply to save them to somewhere else. So first and foremost, it's always good to know what version of the software you are on. So all you need to do is hold the menu button down and then plug in your cable. As you do that, it will literally show you the version number, which is version 1.01, .01, and the build number, which this one is 0039. Next, we need to dive over to the computer. So we're gonna get the firmware, and we're also gonna get Boss Tone Studio RC. We need to go over to Boss's website. So we've already got that preloaded up, which is here. And there's the RC500. So we can click on there, or we can click on the RC5. The alternative is you can click support and go support by product, which is what I'm gonna do. This is alphabetical, so let's go over to R. And we have the RC5 there, 50, 500, 505, all of them. So we're going to go over to the RC500. We need the system program, which is the firmware update. And then we've got the Boss Tone Studio, which is version 1.2 for either Windows or Mac. I'm on a Mac. So what we're going to do is I'm going to download the firmware update. Now, there's a couple of pieces of information here, which we'll go through in a second. But long story cut short, we go to the bottom and we click download file. I'm going to go back a page and we're going to go and grab Boss Tone Studio for RC version 1.2 for Mac. And we're going to do the same thing. Click agree and download the file. Be aware that the Tone Studio for RC is for the RC units like the RC5, the RC202, the RC500, etc. There are different Tone Studios that Boss supply. Make sure you've downloaded the correct one. Great, we've got our firmware. Now what we need to do is plug that into this. So once you've downloaded them, you should have a couple of packages. So this is the system one, which is the firmware update, and this one is Tone Studio. Now the instructions to update the firmware are step-by-step, -step, and they are on the support page, which is just here. If you follow them along step-by-step, -step, you won't go wrong. Now in order to do the update, we need to hit menu and exit at the same time, and then plug in the power. You'll see there it says RC500 updater connected. Now what you'll see is a hard drive on your computer, which is the Boss RC500. You just need to open the icon, and then from the download, just make sure you've got all those three files and drag them over. Then once you've done that, make sure you disconnect it from the computer. You'll notice now on the RC500, it says update with a question mark. Once you've got that question mark, you can disconnect the USB. And then to go ahead with the update, just click the value knob once. Now that's been completed, the final stage is just disconnect the power. Now we can check if the update's been successful by holding down menu and plugging in. As we can see there, we're now on version 1.0.2, build 0040. Now the second part of this is the Tone Studio. So all you need to do is open this file up and double click this to install it. I've already done that and we've got it right here. So when you open it up for the very first time, it has loads of things like tone collection and there's loads of tones and backing tracks you can add on to your looper as this is the RC version of Tone Studio. But you'll see at the top here, we've got four buttons. We've got about, export, import and connect. So to connect your RC to Tone Studio, it's very simple. Make sure the USB is plugged in and then plug in the power. So all I've done with the RC500 is plug in the power and plug in the USB. I didn't have to go and find anything other than 
tone studio and you can see now that these three have lit up so you can disconnect import or export so let's import something so what i'm going to do is i'm just going to use one of these this is soul collection 2 this is a rhythm section and this is a loop track collection for loopers a set of six soul rhythms so what we can do is we can actually have a listen to this and see what it sounds like we can download them and it shows you the bpm which is really useful so let's download one of them and you can see here it says download and then which memory and track you want to pop it on. So we can actually pop it on loads of different tracks starting from memory one. And you'll see here from a previous version on memory 11, I've still got those two WAVs that are there. And you can pop it anywhere you like. So let's pop it on just memory two for now. And we can say download it to memory number two. So let's grab another one. I'm going to go to the pop selection. So you can see there you get different variances for them. You've got 10 pop tracks. So I'm going to use this one. We're going to download it. And again, you can see there's our Soul 6 with 120 BPM. I'm going to put this on memory 3, track 1, and click download. And it's popped it straight on there. If we click export, we can see everything that we've got. I can go onto here and we can click play. We can play, we can stop and delete, and then we can also export them. And it tells you which bit rate it's in with the RC5 and the RC500, of course. They can go up to 32-bit float. Tone Studio for RC is really, really simple. And um, you can grab your own tones. So let's go and do that now. So I'll export one of my tones, which was on track 11. Let's have a play of it. There we go. And we've got the other one on track 2. which is great. So I can export both of them and I can export them in 32 bits, 16 or 24. Click export. It'll ask you where you want to save it. The nice thing is it actually saves track one and track two separately. So you could then use them in your digital audio workstation or file them for later use. Once you finish what you're doing, click disconnect. It'll ask if that's okay. You say okay. And then it disconnects from the computer and you'll see on the looper it's gone back to the way it was as if it's not connected to a computer at all. If you have found the content of this video useful then please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me and it helps the channel grow. If you want to support the page a little bit further you can do. You can buy me a coffee at buymeacoffee.com. Buy Me A Coffee keeps this channel alive and to those who already have, thank you very much. It's really appreciated. All the links for where to download the firmware, get Boss Tone Studio, where to buy me a coffee are in the description box below. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you on the next one.